Driving in the snow is one of the worst things about winter in the region, right up there with shoveling and cabin fever. But seven students from YSU are hoping to make those drives a little less treacherous for the residents and workers in the city of Youngstown. It's really important um, for our students to really see how math is applied and how once they graduate, how they may be using their math skills in their chosen profession and in their careers. Dr. Thomas Wakefield is the chairman of the YSU math department. This semester, he tasked seven of his students from his topics in mathematical modeling class with figuring out how to help the city of Youngstown plow the roads more efficiently. I'm really hopeful that they'll at least be able to make some, some progress and, you know, and it may be something that we just continue to look at even beyond this course. The student's first task was to meet with Building and Grounds Commissioner Kevin Flynn. We forward him all the uh, traffic study information uh, from the routes. Flynn says one problem is that the city's snowplow routes haven't been updated since the 70s. While that's not a problem for his experienced drivers, it could cause confusion for new drivers. Another problem is the age of the fleet. Our newest truck is a 2008, um, which is over 10 years. Uh -huh. I mean, people, I mean, how many people are still driving cars of their own that are 15, 20 years old and we're plowing the streets with those trucks. The city of Youngstown is responsible for every road in the city limits with the exception of Route 680. That's 1,100 lane miles and 982 streets. And unlike other municipalities, Youngstown doesn't receive any assistance from the county or the Ohio Department of Transportation. And they actually have more, uh, more tools to fight the elements in regards to brine applicators and uh, they, they use beet juice and a couple other things that we're not even set up for. We have to do a manual geocode. Over the course of the semester, the students plan to attack the problem from several angles. One method they're looking at is the route inspection problem, in which a person tries to complete every line on a circuit in the shortest distance possible without ever repeating. They're also using geographic information software that will help them come up with more efficient routes. Dr. Wakefield says he's optimistic the students will be able to make a difference for the city and that more businesses and entities should look at YSU as a resource. I hope that companies and area agencies and, and government entities continue to look at us um, as a resource and reach out to us and our students because um, there's a tremendous amount of knowledge here. We're celebrating 95 years. Sweeney Chevrolet Buick GMC has been proudly serving our community since 1921. Sweeney.